Hello everyone, hope you're enjoying the demo of Final Bar Line so far. I've seen a lot of people getting into this game via this demo who have not played the arcade version, and in particular the thing I see them struggle with a lot is slide notes. So I have made a little video for you here today explaining the best way to hit slide notes. Slide notes, the easy way. So we'll start here with lesson one. Inverted notes are not real. Uh, starting here on practice mode, blinded by the light, the ultimate chart. So what I mean by an inverted note? What I mean is this principle. These two notes here. Outwards and then inwards. One is outwards and one is inwards. They're inverted from each other. But, here's the thing. The game doesn't know what stick you're using to input which direction. It's just looking for one left arrow and one right arrow. And if you invert that, it's still one left arrow and one right arrow. Consequently, those inputs are actually the same. Observe the input display. You see how I hit both of them by just pressing outwards? It's that simple. You can also do it the other way around if you want. You can do them both inwards if you prefer. But basically, whenever there's a slide and it's inverted version right next to it, those inputs are identical and can be processed exactly the same way if you so please. The same logic applies to diagonal versions of these notes. Once again here on Blinded by Light, the Supreme chart this time. The diagonals can be inputted as essentially the same inputs as mirrors of each other. Both going outwards, both going inwards. You can do those the same way. You don't have to vary your inputs between the two. Those are identical. And now for lesson two. Diagonals are also fake. A diagonal can basically be considered as either of its cardinal directions. So basically you can see here we have an up left arrow. That can be processed as either left or straight up. Uh, example in actual gameplay is this entire string in Battle 1 Supreme chart here. Up, up, up. It works just fine. These all down, down, down. It's that simple. You can process them that way and crush them all to their nearest cardinal. Either one works fine. You don't always have to crush diagonal inputs to their nearest cardinal direction, but it can definitely make certain patterns easier for you. But now, lesson three. Let's combine the two principles. Since we've learned that inverted diagonals can be input as the same thing, and diagonals basically aren't real, uh, combining the two principles means that for pretty much any sort of opposing diagonal slide input, almost all of them can be compressed to simply inputting left plus right. Here is an example for you from Apocalypsis Noctis' Supreme Chart. Observe how many slides can be input as simply left plus right. All of that can be compressed as simply left plus right. And with that, you have everything you need to perform at a better level playing Final Bar Line. But a couple of addendums before we go. Uh, there are certain right angle double slides. These must be input honestly. These don't have like any way to compress them simply. These, right angle slides as I call them. These don't have any way to compress them. There is no way to sort of simplify cardinal direction input, so right angles must be input honestly. And final addendum, sometimes you will receive diagonal inputs that are on the same horizontal side. These do not crush to left plus right. These notes. Left and right does not work with those, but they can be crushed to up plus down instead. But since they are not opposing on the horizontal axis, they have to be input that way instead. Those are honestly, in my experience, quite rare. I've played a fair bit of the arcade game that Final Bar Line is based off, and those come up a lot less frequently than the horizontal ones, so you don't have to worry about those too much, but do bear it in mind that those ones will catch you out if you're used to crushing absolutely every diagonal to left plus right. Just wanted to throw that in there so people don't, like, point it out in the comments. And that's all you need to know about slide notes in Theatre Rhythm Final Bar Line. I hope you learned something from this video. If you didn't know this stuff before, implementing this into your gameplay will definitely improve your scores for sure. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope everyone enjoys Final Bar Line when it comes out. See you then!